In the last couple of hours, the intensity of the winds have become a lot stronger. The rain is still pouring down, uh, and that's why we've had to come indoors and take shelter. We were outside uh, just a little while ago, uh, over a couple, uh, couple of hours ago, and uh, the winds were so strong that it was difficult to stand. Uh, since then, we've been advised to come in. Even from where I'm sitting, I can hear the rain and the wind outside. There are things flying around. We've had reports of trees coming down on the, along the highway, some houses that have already had their roofs cave in. Uh, so everyone's just bracing themselves up and waiting to see what happens. There's a sense of urgency here on India's east coast, with Cyclone Pailin only hours away. Villages along the coast have emptied out. Fishermen scramble to get their boats to shore. Already there are signs of what's in store, with strong winds bringing down trees and heavy rain lashing the coast. Everyone's being told to get out of the way of a cyclone they're already calling the fiercest in two decades. Weather officials have warned that the cyclone will lead to storm surges up to three meters high and floods along the entire coast. So the effort now is to save lives. The Navy and Air Force are on standby, ready to swing into action. Emergency rations and supply are being readied for the relief effort for the hundreds of thousands who might be stranded or homeless. And over the Bay of Bengal, Cyclone Pailin is gathering pace as it moves inland. Cyclone Pailin is expected to make landfall at a point about 15 miles from where I am on the coast. And as you can see, the weather conditions are getting intense with every minute. The authorities have done all they can to get people away from these areas and into shelters. So now all that everyone is doing is waiting and preparing for the worst. Sanjay